Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I would like to show you how you can easily export collections, objects with this simple add-on we create. If you just downloaded the mass export plugin, you need to install it, go to edit preferences and here in add-ons, go to install and then find the zip file and just install it. I have it just installed, so here it is. You just need to check the checkbox and voila, it's here. Let's take a look what we have here in the file. I created a test file uh, for you and now I have the camera and scene, 3D icons and medic. So here what is interesting is I have various icons as you can see here and they are in the collection. Every icon is in the separate collection and inside the collection there are objects. Some of them has objects, some of them doesn't have the objects. Okay, so let's say I want to export these icons, these medic icons, these sub-collections of this collection medic, I want to export them to FBX for example. So what I need to do, I need to go to collection and find the medic. The way how it is working is that it will take all the sub-collections inside this collection, right? Make sure that there are not other sub-sub-collections because it can uh, make a little mess. Then, if you want to include any collection in every export, this can be handy, for example, for uh, animations, if you want to export uh, like the lights or background, for example, the background is great use case, if you want to have it in every single render. But for now, let's skip it and I'm going to choose the output. Here I have the test file prepared. Okay, I have file format, I have PNG or uh, the samples I can choose. But generally, it, it respects what is in output properties. It means that it will just took what is here and uh, just render it. For example, 2000 to 2000 resolution. So if you are going to render the animation, use this format. So go here and uh, change it. It will also respect the render properties. So if it cycles and so on, it will be reused. I choose make the icons from Collection Medic. I don't want to include anything and here I have type combined or individual. Individual is uh, when I want to individually export every object of the collect of the sub collection so it will export cube 7, cube 8, cube 9, cube 14 and so on. If I click combined it will combine all of the objects of the sub collection and export as one object. So it will take all the parts of the female, uh, doctor female and it will join and create one object out of them. It can be really handy because sometimes I want to have the separate objects and sometimes I want to have the icon as a whole. So uh, this is how it works. I will try to go to combine and I will just click export to FBX. If you want to change the properties here you can change the properties of FBX and it will also respect what is here in the export FBX. Here are the main functionality but if you need to go deeper go there to file and export FBX. So okay I will click export to FBX. Now it's processing and as you can see it created me in a test file the medic folder and here I have the icons right so if I click I can easily see that this is the one icon and I can show you how the female doctor looks like it looks like one icon right so this is it this is how it looks like okay if I go I can export OB OBJ and it created the OBJ for every object and also MTL file which is materials right the same thing for every object which is one thing what is cool is actually respecting how it is set inside the blender so it's the for example here is the medic suitcase and the same thing is here if you want to make it automatic make sure that the naming here is proper okay let's try to for example export to blender file this can be pretty handy and now i just have the blender file okay if I go to, for example, Dr. Mail, click on that, I can see that we have the Dr. Mail, right? So this is it. And the same thing is going to GLTF or export animation as FBX. 
If you want, for example, for some reason to show the wireframe, here we have the render view. It will check what is on the timeline. In our case, we have like different views of the camera and it will export the render view. Let's try it out. Render view. Right now it's processing as you can see one, two, three, four, five. This is happening for every sub collection and it's combined, right? So it will take uh, what you can see right here and you can customize it. Okay, let's take a look. Here is, for example, Dr. Mail. And because we, I didn't have it shown here, this is why it wasn't shown, right? So I need to turn it on and again, okay, it's done. Now we can take a look on the Dr. Mail and you see the wireframe. It can be pretty handy because if I want to have, for example, like this and I want to uh, change the I want to turn on the wireframe here let's take a look how it will look like like the view was rendered and now I see the file uh, the preview and also you can see that I see the camera here you can turn it off and it won't be shown here also you can see that I I have these lines which are from the blender but you can turn it off if you want to, right so you, it doesn't have to be there if I click on the render animation it will render the animation like the animation of the collections and it will it will render the animation of every collect sub collection right so now it's like the view one two three four five and it will do do it for every sub collection let's take a look so if you for example you don't want to finish uh the rendering you just need to click escape right and now i will stop it just need to wait and i stopped it let's take a look what was rendered rendered and you can see for example dr female i rendered the icon I chose and the reason um, was re it rewrite the render view so take care before doing this uh, just go and rename all of the uh, easy hack is go to and find the PNG file right it will find the PNG now select all and rename them like for example one two three four five or if I go and, and just click render it will nicely rename it right so one, two, three, four, five, like view one, two, three, four, five. This is how it is working and it's pretty easy. Let's take a look how the individual work. So for example, let's go and export FBX. Now what it did is basically, it, as I mentioned to you, is it took all of the objects inside, for example, Dr. Female, and it, it's, it export that object. It can be handy for some use cases, right? This is the head, for example. And because I have this uh, not proper naming, uh, I would uh, definitely recommend you to have the proper naming. Here is the hair, but for me it's just too cute, right? So um, this is the body. So if you want to use the individual once more, it will individually export every object of the sub collection. If I click combine, it will combine all of the objects into one object. If you want, you can include collection, which will be part of every of every export. So that's it. Thank you so much for your attention. This is mass export. If you have any feedback, please write it down in the comment section. If you want, because we created a lot of cool stuff for Blender and for other tools, go to 3D.design. We have so many cool 3D libraries and we have much more add-ons and we plan to work we plan to deliver more add-ons just go to 3d.design if you want to be part of like-minded people who are trying to go to 3d deeper go to our discord server have a great day stay creative and bye